Du bist fällig hier und willkommen zu den 10 Staten dieses Jahres der Tour de France, der Failure Way. Das Studio ist still flooded, so we won't be able to use a single camera in the studio, so you live with this screen for another day. The 10 Staten ist so Mülhaus zu La Plains de Buffet. And today is gonna be the first GC Battle. I know I said that about the A Stage, but trust me, today is where everyone is gonna let everything on the field and just gonna hope for the best. My three Compare my three guys that I think is gonna do the best today's stage with my three favorites are Alejandro Valverde, the two the guy who has got two stage wins already, looking really strong. He said in the interviews that he wants to get more victories and don't come count him out just yet. I would say Alberto Contador, El Pistolero, we know what he can do, never count him out. And then Chris Froome. Chris Froome completely dominated last year and he got third in the A stage, the first real mountain test, which wasn't really a mountain te test, but Froome got third in that stage, so you can't count him out either. Those three guys and a bunch of other GC contenders will be doing it on the A stage. The final climb is the, it's the second time where the Tour de France is using this climb. Last time Chris Froome won on this climb, so Chris Froome has to be the ultimate fav uh, favorite for today's stage. But guys, go get your chips, go get your snacks, go get your uh, go get a, go get up some beverage, because you're gonna be in for one hell of a treat, not a tweet. Welcome to the first images of the 10 states of this year's the Tour de France, the further way. We started off in Mulhouse and we made our way towards the prestigious La Plains de Balfi. For uh, short after the start was giving, Simon Spielberg, Thomas Leclerc, and Hurrah decided to tag away from the peloton. They were followed by Sylvain Chabanel, Jan Bakler, and Peter Vils a short time after that. And that was also the final breakaway of the day. There weren't much fight to get in the breakaway today. The final breakaway was Simon Spielberg, Jan Bakler, Hurrah, Lawrence Van Damme, Peter Vils, Thomas Leclerc, and Sylvain Chabanel. They came up to the first mountain of the day, which was a Category 2 climb. Simon Spielberg took all five points, and Lawrence and Damage, Sylvain Chavanel took the rest. Yet again, another mountain sprint. That was really the theme of the day. Mountain sprints, sprints, sprints everywhere. Simon Spielberg once again took all ten points, Lawrence and Damme taking eight points, and Jan Barklands taking six points. Yet another mountain came up then. <laughs> surprise, surprise! Uh, Sam Simon Spielberg won yet another time. Lawrence and Damme got second place, and Barklands got third. One of the GC contenders actually got dropped. The pace wasn't high today, but Mikhail Kwiatkowski was caught behind. He lost two minutes on the peloton, but I think he's back in the peloton in the live images. They came up to a first sprint that wasn't a mountain sprint, but an intermediate sprint. The breakaway decided not to sprint for it because it's basically Sagan's jersey, as Sagan also won the peloton sprint in front of Louis Westra. Then, they come up to a next category 2 of the day. Again, Simon Spielberg, the big winner of the day. Simon Spielberg again taking all 5 points. Jan Barkland taking 3. And Hirata taking 2. And now we're back into live images. So Simon Spielberg was really the big winner of the day. He's currently wearing the polka dot jersey, but it can change. Uh, a few years ago, the, the commissaires changed it, changed it so that the first guy over... Uh, if it's a finish, if the finish is on a climb, if it finish finishes on an ascent, the guy first over the line gets double the amount of points, so we still could see a GC contender get it. How many points do they get over the line? It is 20 points they get on the line, so we still could see a GC contender take it if they attack early on the stage, but today's stage is going to be really exciting. In the front, it looks like Sylvain Chavanel has been dropped from the other breakaway companions, so still Thomas McClair, still Lawrence and Dam, still Peter Vilas, Harada, Simon Spielock, and Bakran are still in the breakaway. They've got a 7 minute gap on the peloton, and it looks like these, what is this, 5 Got one, two, three, four, five, six guys will compete for the stage victory today. And down the peloton, they'll do their best to limit the time gaps and try to get the yellow jersey. But guys, we'll be back after a short commercial break. Hello everybody, my name is Vyeska Chen. I'm a YouTuber who's doing Pro Cycling Manager 2014. If you guys have uh, time to check me out, please do so because I'm doing at the moment a career with Top Surf Planner. So I hope I see you guys later. Welcome back from the commercial break. We're with, within the final 40 kilometers of today's stage and the finish is going to be quite exciting. In the breakaway, Simon Spielberg is finally paying for the effort he put in early on the stage. He went for every single modern classification sprint and he's not going to get this one. In the front, Peter Veal is taking it, uh, all five points, I believe it was. And uh, actually, I only think it's three. Is it only three you get here? It's two points. He only took two points and Lawrence and Dam took one. Let's take a look down in the peloton. And here's something that Bart Klug and Daniel Navarro are giving it their all. Bart Klug, Navarro and 
Dad, who's that? Malama is gone. Horner is gone. All the GC containers are gone. Who is going to react to this? We see a bunch of guys are already going. How are the big GC teams going to uh, respond to this? How are we going to see Sky, Estenad, Tink of Saxobank? They got to react to this. That's a bunch of GC containers going at the same time. They really want to create separ uh, separation fast. I mean, we saw Costa going, we saw Malma going. This could mean that Fu we see Froome is going. Froome and Verder are both going. Froome and Verder are both off. We gotta see a reaction from this. We have to see a reaction from this down the peloton. I can't believe that Froome and Verder and these guys are all gone already. Aston Ash setting a pace in the front. Take of Saxon Bank still down here. They gotta react to this. Somehow they cannot let Froome and Verder go with 30 kilometers to go. This is too dangerous for all the riders. They gotta set a high pace and we see them react to this. Froome and Verder Malma getting caught in the front. Oh, they have no time gap. Costa those guys were caught as soon as they attacked this way as well. Oh, we're hitting the next category 2 pretty soon and I expect guys to go here. This category 2 climb is going to be the size of the climb of the day. I think it'll be all alone on the final climb. We see Roach, Rogers, Paulinho, they're all in the front, wasting their efforts before this climb. I think this is a smart decision by Tink of Saxobank. They want to get the belt and loosen up before Contador can make his final move. It's going to be tough getting rid of uh, Froome, Valverde, and Nibali. These guys, it's going to be tough, but they're trying their best. We see Rogers and Rose are really making a difference. Paulinho can't pace anymore. Can't you Lara is still here. I can't believe that Cancellara is still here. What a beast. Cancellara is really trying his all. He's giving it his all to keep his yellow jersey. He really wants to keep it. Just look at the pace in the peloton. The, the gap to the breakaway is just demolishing. It's, just, it's gone. It was seven minutes, just minutes ago, and now it's all gone. I bet you we're going to see Contador go pretty soon. Just look at this. Cancellara is struggling. Mom has going on the right side. Kuning is going right in back corner. All these guys are starting to go. When will we see the big GC contenders going? Roach is still pulling a big turn near the front. Body clock is going. Where's Van den Broek? Van den Broek is nowhere to be seen. And I think it's all all over for Roach. Contador is going to the front now. Contador is now going to the front. He is going to go alone. He is going to give it his all already now. It's pretty early, but he's going to go for it. 20 kilometers to go. Contador is setting a nice pace in the front. Nibli is just counter-attacking Contador. On the left side, Froome is going. Froome is going on the left side. He wants to go all alone with 20 kilometers to go. This is going to be a bit too early, in my opinion, but Froome can do it. If there's one man that can do it, it's definitely Froome. On his wheels, on of Alberta. Brute Costa is going out. Contador is still keeping his own pace. It looks like he is taking the full sang tactic into this stage. He's been... I think he's been working out with some Danes, because this is not typically Contador. Contador normally attacks, but today is a different day. Contador's not going to attack today so far. So far, he's riding his own pace, making sure that he doesn't die. Froome looks like he's in trouble. Rodriguez looks good. Contador is still setting a nice pace with 18 kilometers to go. Let's check out, take a look at the time gap. Simon Spielberg is all alone in the front, though. He's got 1 minute and tw 20 seconds on the Contador group. Froome and Bacalant. Oh, Bacalant's got dropped in there. But Froome is looking good. Froome is looking really good. He's going to leave Contador behind. Can Contador catch up to Froome? Froome is looking really good. Froome won this place last year. Froome won another place to Buffy a couple of years ago. Can he do it again this year? Let's take a look. Contador is dropping the other guys. Contador has dropped Scaponi. We have a group down here. We have a, quite a big group. Kirk Koski, all the other guys, all the other guys are down here. We have a big downhill now. This is where you can make the difference. You really gotta just hang on to your lead. Froome has got the advantage though. He's got Bakalans helping him. Froome has Bakalans helping him, but he won't look. He won't set, uh, set the pace. It looks like Scaponi's down here. He's now catching Contador. Contador is doing his best. He just let the other guys go. He wants to be out of trouble in case anyone falls. Slag is on the ground. Uh, just as I say that, Frank Slag, 15 overall, is on the ground. This is the end of his GC uh, aspirations. I don't think he'll have a chance of winning it anymore. He's going to lose so much time on today's stage. It looks like uh, Froome is sitting up. Froome is sitting up. He does not want to pace anymore. It looks like the Peloton's coming back. The favorites group is coming back up now. Froome and Contador side by side. This is the two guys that are going to be fighting for the yellow jersey this year. Who is going to be the strongest? Meanwhile, in the front, it looks like Simon Spielak and Thomas McLaren are going to be battling it out. If Simon Spielak could just, if he could win today, that would be great. It looks like Andy Slag and Sylvain Chavanel has been on the ground from what I heard on the radio. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, guys are now fighting for position at the front, going up the Purple Fee. Uh, La, oh, sorry, what's it called again? La Planche de Belfi. That's what it's called. Sorry, my bad. I just got that wrong. You know when you get into the mood and you just get too excited? That's what just happened. Here they go, though. They're going to start it right now. If, if you're not in the front, you're going to have a lot of pain because Contador is setting the pace on you. Pierre Alain is going to the left side. Pierre Alain wants to attack. He's going for it. On the right side of the red is going. We see Simon Spielberg and Thomas McClay in the front. Who is going to win the stage today? It's, it's all open. Anybody's game currently. We have a 20-man group down here. I think we have a 24-man group. But uh, Contador is still setting a nice pace in the front. Uh, four kilometers to go. Is he 
gonna be the man to take it all today. Thomas, 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 the guy's going on the right side. Thomas, the guy's gonna try to fall on the door's pace. Can he do it though? Thomas, uh, about to come to the door. Looks really strong for the day stage. Oh, 15 men left here. This is top 15 in the GC. Looks like Sean Gustav Pirot and uh, Roman Bardet are trying to help each other. Oh, three kilometers to go. Who's gonna be the big winner today? On the left side, Thibaut Pinot is trying to go. Mikhail Kalkowski, who was in difficulty earlier today, is going on the left side as well. Three kilometers to go. The pace has been settled down. 26 guys, guys are coming back now, but now Contador again hits the front, Contador wants to set the pace, he knows it's a race day tomorrow, he wants to go all out, we see Nibbly's on the right side, Nibbly's, Nibbly's also sitting good, 2 kilometers to go, Valverde's coming on the right side, he's accelerating from behind, who's going to be the winner today, put your money down right now, because bets are about to close, because it's going to come down to the finish, which is in 1.5 kilometers time, Contador Nibbly sitting in the front, Chibopi is also sitting good, but Contador keeps up the high pace, he's trying to shake off the other contenders, but it's not working, it is not working, Contador just can't do it, and with one kilometer to go, it looks like Contador's gonna be sitting in the front. Nibbles on the right side. What a fail from Contador and the rest of Tingo Saxabank. They are really trying to thin out the peloton, but they couldn't do it. Contador is still in the front, though. But here comes Nibbly. Nibbly is off the front. Nibbly is going to attack. Are we going to see Nibbly take the jersey today? Is he going to take the yellow jersey and the stage victory? He's going to go for Rodriguez on the right side. Here goes Contador. Contador is going to fight for third place. It's going to be the big win of the day. Vincenzo Nibbly. Rodriguez comes in second place. Contador comes in third. Did they take time, though? It definitely looked like there was a time gap between Nibbly, Contador, and from Contador down to Froome. It looked like there was a time gap. We'll have to see though, but the big winner of the day, Vincenzo Nibali, winning in front of Joaquin Rodriguez, Alberto Contador, Valverde, Rui Costa, Chris Froome finishing 6th position only in front of Pino, Sean Gustav Perot coming in 8th, Kwiatkowski in 9th, and Scaponi in 10th. For the first time in this year's the Tour de France the Fairway, we will be utilizing the replay feature. So here, I paused it with one kilometer to go, and this is where Nibali makes his decisive attack. Just keep keep your eye on Vincenzo Nibali. Look at this, he's gonna attack any second now, and he's just gonna distance the rest of the group. The only guy able to follow his attack is Jorge Rodriguez, but I'm more interested in who has who has the time gaps. We definitely see a time gap from Nibali down to Contador. Right here, I bet you, that's two seconds. This looks to be two seconds down to Contador, but what about down to to the Froome group. There look to be another two seconds down to the Froome group, but we'll go on the podium to see if there's any time gaps in today's stage. There was a time gap, but it was not from Nibbly to Contador, it was from Nibbly to Froome. There was a, a total of 25 seconds difference between Nibbly and Froome. What a- what? I thought there was only like two to three seconds, but there was an entire 25 seconds there? I mean, I would like to talk to the guy who counted the clock there. Alejandro Valverde is in the yellow jersey. It goes from a proud, proud owner of Fabian Cancellar to another proud owner. Alejandro Valverde, already two stage wins, and now the yellow jersey. Congratulations to Movie Star. It's really impressive what you've done so far. Contador is currently in fourth. We see Froome is now behind by 25 seconds. Peter Sagan has basically got the green jersey in the bag. I mean, we'll see... Will we see Cavendish attack in the mountains, or can he survive in the mountains? I doubt it, but it looks like Peter Sagan has the green jersey in the back with 11, column, uh, 11 stages to go. We will have to see Sagan crashing to lose this. Like, you have to abandon to lose the green jersey, or someone has to, like, steal it from him. Simon Spielock, the big winner of today, taking 35 points. Lawrence and Damage just behind him, but Spielock taking 35 points. I like the cap he's wearing. I really think it matches the Katusha team kit, or not. But Simon Spielock is going to wear the pocket of the jersey for another stage, and he's now got a rest day to recuperate and get ready for another mountain stage. I bet there are plenty left. Mikhail Kalkowski is in in the white jersey, even though he struggled today, he's in that one. Uh, he's gonna take that one from Sagan today. Sagan lost four minutes today, therefore Kwiatkowski takes it from him. Thibaut Pinot has got a two minute gap up to Kwiatkowski, but Pinot can probably do it. If there's a guy that can do it, Pinot is looking strong this year. We saw him side by side with Contador when he accelerated. And of course, Team Astana with uh, uh, Tanel Kanger, Jacob Fulsang, Vincenzo Nibali, Michel Scaponi, all these guys, of course, they're gonna lead the overall team classification. This was the day that Lotto Belsol gave up on that team classification but guys let's take a look to see if anyone abandoned and then we'll pass it on to the studio first of all we got to see we see the newspapers we see Cy Cy sport cyanide sports saying nibbly is the strongest and he definitely was so there are a bunch of guys losing time in today's stage uh, so the new GC, oh we actually had a few guys abandoning today, Roger Klug, Jean-Marc uh, Pidot and Greg Henderson did not make the time limit in today's stage, so Andre Greiber loses a very crucial lead up man, but I'll pass it over to the studio. Vincenzo Nibali, the guy who won the stage today in front of Joaquin Rodriguez, 
and Alberto Contador. And strangely enough, I took 25 seconds down to Chris Froome, which was really weird because the time gap didn't seem like it was there, but the commissioners said it was. Sadly, we weren't able to get a single interview today because everyone was rushing home to watch the World Cup. Sadly, that's how it is. They all watched it one day, delayed in the Tour de France, but sadly, we weren't able to get an interview because they all had to watch the replay of the World Cup because they couldn't stay up late because tomorrow is a rest day, so they all had a uh, DVR, they all had it uh, recorded, and they wanted to watch a recap because they weren't allowed to watch it the day off because they had to relax for this stage. But tomorrow is a rest day, they can relax now and get ready for uh, another week in the mountains. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, please leave a comment. Thank you guys for being here. It's been a joy doing the show with you guys and me, and it's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna take a rest day tomorrow because it's a rest day in the tour, so you won't be seeing a uh, Tour de France to fail away tomorrow. It'll just be a rest day for me as well. I will try to get as many videos ready as possible. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.